Hello guys, welcome back. So we came with another exciting opportunity for the candidates, those who are working in ACT approved uh, institutions. So recently the ACT announced a PhD program for the faculty members from ACT approved institutions, those who are working in diploma as well as engineering colleges. So in the same manner, now the ACT announced a QIP PG certification program, those who are working in diploma as well as engineering colleges. This is a very good opportunity for the candidates who are working in uh, engineering as well as diploma colleges as the entire expenditure is going to be borne by the ACT. So whatever the selected candidates, for each and every candidate, the ACT is going to spend approximately 40,000 to get this PG certification program. And we can end this certification from top premier institutions like IITs, NITs and IISC and some government institutions are there and from them you are going to get the PG certificate. The duration of this particular program is approximately 200 hours, which is equivalent to 18 credits and the hybrid mode we are going to have. This program will going to start in July 2025. So when we come to the eligibility, those who have minimum five years of teaching experience in graduate as well as diploma level and full-time regular permanent faculty members and strong publication based on these criteria, you are going to be shortlisted. So there are various focus areas we will discuss now. So the, the ACT decided 159th Executive Committee to, to organize the PG program for the current academic year also. So in 2024-25 academic year, 21 programs were conducted by IITs and IIITs IASC and in which 1040 participants are uh, joined under ACT sponsored program. And we can also join the self-finance that is we need to pay the fee. As I said now, for each candidate the ACT is spending approximately 40,000 to get this particular certificate. If not shortlisted also, we can get the certificate by attending the classes on payment basis. So we need to pay here also 160 candidates are uh, joined in this program under the self-finance category. So the first batch was uh, completed on December 2024 and now they announced the next phase of uh, the PG certification program. The applications already started from April 22nd and the last date to apply is April 15th and the interview will be conducted in between May 25th to May 30th and the selection of candidates will be announced by June 2nd. Call letters will be sent here. By June 3rd, the candidates who are selected, they need to confirm whether they're going to participate in this particular program or not. And after that, anybody not given consent by June 3rd, that vacant positions will be allocated for the candidates, those who are in queue. So by June 5th, the institutions has to be finalized that uh, candidate list. Then June 16th, the program will start. When the June 16th, the program is going to be started here and on campus 16th to 27th that is first week as well as December 8th to 19th last week. First week and last week are mandatory. We need to stay in uh, the campus and remaining we can attend in online mode or hybrid mode. So 22nd to 26th the final evaluation will be uh, conducted by the institution. Then by 31st of December 2025 we are going to get a PG certification from the various institutions. So when we come to the eligibility criteria this is mainly for the candidates, those who are from core branches, as we know, nowadays the huge demand is there for computer science and allied branches and the institutions are also facing problem in uh, getting the qualified faculty. So in this connection, the ACT is offering the QIP PG certification program exclusively candidates from core branches like uh, mechanical, civil, material and metallurgical, electrical and electronics, chemical, etc. And the minimum eligibility is uh, we need to have at least five years of uh, teaching experience either in uh, engineering or diploma colleges. So duration, as I said now, 200 hours or which is equal to six months. And for each and every institution, the maximum ceiling is 50 candidates. The minimum is 30. And if the number of candidates are more than 50, then the extra candidates has to pay the fee. That is up to 50 only the ACT is sponsoring. And after 50, the seats are allotted on the self-finance basis. That is, we need to pay the fee. So six months duration we are going to have. And when we come to the program content, it is going to be divided into three categories. One is called awareness and expertise and application. And the total credits we are going to get is 18 credits, but there is a facility in this also. Those who have completed NPTEL courses, from that courses, we can get or we can transfer maximum of six credits to uh, this QIP program. On successful completion, we are going to get uh, the certification course from ACT sponsored by the top as well as eminent uh, institutions. So when we come to the emerging areas, the emerging areas may include advanced materials, semiconductors, space and defense, and blue-green economy, high-performance computing, energy sustainability and climate change, advanced computing, cyber physical systems and cyber security, AI, ML, data science, data analytics, AR and uh, mixed reality, virtual reality, 
IoT and intelligent transport systems like this. These are the various uh, courses are there. In these are emerging technologies, we can get the certificate. No fee will be paid by the candidate. The entire fee will be paid by the ACT. But the thing is, we need to deposit a 5000, which is to be refunded after completion of our course. So a refundable caution deposit, we need to deposit at the institute. So for each and every institute is going to offer two programs. The program is going to accommodate a minimum of 30 candidates and maximum of 50 candidates. If the institute is offering the QIP program for 30 candidates, it is going to pay 12 lakhs. And if the institute is offering the PG certification program for 50 candidates, the ACT is going to pay 20 lakhs. As I said, now if the number of candidates are more than 50, then the candidate has to pay the rupees approximately 40,000. And this is for the institute, 70% will be paid in advance and 25% after completion of the program, the ACT is going to pay for the institution. So every institute is going to uh, train around 50 candidates, but among these 50 candidates, the rule is minimum 50% from other states and minimum 25% from other districts of that particular state. So cancellation, leave, you can get uh, two days of uh, leave during this session. And the case of medical leave, we can get up to seven days of leave, uh, leave during this particular program so you can go through all these things and when we come to the credit framework when we come to the framework or uh, the course structure programming fundamentals problem solving computational thinking pro uh, programming fundamentals and data representation as well as manipulation like this we have three theory plus one lab or two theory plus two lab structure we are going to have for second data science for engineers three theory one lab or two theory two labs you are going to have and you can also get the same course from NPTEL also so when we come to the credit distribution, in person during the first and last week of that particular program, 20 theory, 40 lab hours we are going to get. And in online, 120 hours we are going to get. Total six hours per week we need to stay back. We need to conduct two quizzes, which consisting of 30 to 45 minutes of time each. And we need to secure minimum 50% of marks in that particular evaluation. So these are the deadlines. If you are interested, click on register here. That's all for now. If you have any queries, simply comment on me so that I'll try to reply. Thank you. All the best.